This is part two of how to put DVDs on the PSP for free. To view part one, browse through my videos and find part one. The last thing we did in part one was configure DVD shrink so that it would work with PSP Video 9. Now we are going to take PSP Video 9 and configure it so that we get the best video quality settings. I have spent a lot of time with PSP Video 9 learning how the settings will affect the video quality. Instead of using the default values that come with PSP Video 9, we are going to make our own settings so that we get the best video quality. Now wait! Before you start PSP Video 9, plug in your PSP to your computer, turn it on, and go into USB mode. I'll show you how to do that in a second. The reason why you want to do this is because when you first start PSP Video 9, it looks for your PSP. And if you don't have it hooked up, you'll have to manually tell it where to look. And that can be hard for some new users. This is how you put your PSP in USB mode. Just go to Settings, USB Connection, and hit X. Then connect your USB cable to your computer and then the PSP. After that, it will say USB mode. Now that you have your PSP in USB mode and connected to your computer, start the application. You will see a welcome screen, and then you should see that it says PSP found. If not, then you will have to check the box that says manually specify PSP directory and then down towards the bottom you will have to show it where your PSP drive is. Just click on the arrow on the side and then select the drive. Either way if you've done it manually or if it automatically found it click done. This is the screen that you should see but where we want to go is setup and you can click that on the left hand side. Then on top you will want to select profiles. Now we are going to make our own profile to get the best video quality. So click new profile and then by profile name type in wide screen. After that make sure that it says AVC to CBR a little arrow there. Then on the bit rate change it to 384. After that you will want to make sure that the resolution says 368 by 208. Everything else in the video settings you can leave but down in the sound or the audio settings you'll want to change the bit rate to 64 this way we can save some more space. Now change the volume to 200 percent. The reason why is because the PSP has a problem with always playing video files very quietly. Then click apply. Now go back on your tabs on top and go to settings. Then change the one click profile to the profile we just made. It's all the way on the bottom and it says white screen just like we named it. This is the end of part two. In part three I will show you how to convert the file that DVD Shrink made and make it into a PSP compatible format using the settings that we made in this part of my tutorial.